We're in Opelika, Alabama, and the program is called One Book, One City. The whole school district of Opelika read Uncommon, and uh, different age groups had different questions. They took different chapters, but it's pretty awesome to know that the, the Board of Education really picked this book to try to bring home some thoughts to their students about how to live and how to grow. So I'm very, very humbled and honored and we're going to speak to the, the students here in the next few minutes about the process of writing Uncommon. I'm going to hear from them what the book meant to them and share some of my thoughts. Uh, it's going to be a special afternoon. Um, this, this is something I'll tell you that is really beyond my wildest imagination. Uh, as a little kid, uh, maybe some of these young people's age, you dream about a lot of things and for me I, I did dream about you know, scoring the winning touchdown in a big game or going to the Super Bowl and that kind of thing. But you never dream or visualize that you would come to a, a city where the, the whole town is, has read your book. Um, again, that's just something that I never, never would have thought of. My mom would be so proud of my dad. Uh, they were both teachers. Um, my dad was a college biology teacher. My mom was a high school uh, public speaking and English teacher. I didn't take after either one of them. They weren't, those weren't my strengths. So for my mom to know that I'd, number one, written a book would be stunning to her. And then number two, that somebody had actually read it, that would, that would really impress her. But uh, I have to say it's just, just been fantastic um, being here. This whole One City, One Book uh, project, uh, I have to commend you on it. Um, it it's, the type of thing that we need, the type of thing our country needs, and I, I wish every city, every school district in America would, would do this because it has, I mean, just watching how it's unified everyone and, and what some of the students, the, the essay questions or essays that I've gotten back and some of the things that they've written to, to see that not only have they read something, but they put some thought into it and how it's impacting them and what it's, how they're going to apply it in the future. Uh, it, it's just been phenomenal. 